Okay, so here we are at the footpath to the wetland lab. And our wetland lab is actually two different things coming together. The first one is a detention pond. So what a detention pond does is it holds storm water when it runs across our parking lots and our rooftops. All of that water needs some place to go. And the detention pond serves as a holding spot for all of that storm water runoff. And it will fill up at major storms and will slowly um, soak into the ground or leave through the pipe right over there. That's the exit way for our detention pond. You can see the holes at the top. Um, water does get that deep and it will flow into that pipe and it will soak into the ground and there are holes at the bottom of the pipe as well to help drain the water slowly to avoid flooding on our property. So we have water that comes off the street up here. There's another pipe that comes in draining storm water from Windwood Road. And then this pipe right behind me um, comes in from some of our parking lots, um, the storm drains in our parking lot. And it runs through here and into the detention pond. So um, they're important to help um, flood control in urban areas. So you might see a lot of these fenced in areas all over Greenville or all over um, anywhere that has um, buildings, parking lots, roads. So they're designed to capture all of that stormwater runoff. So it serves um, a, a great service to our school. So first, this is a detention pond. The second thing that our area happens to be is a wetland. Um, even when it is a dry week or a month and there's no rainwater, there is water always in here. There's a creek that runs through the middle of it that is um, begins, has its beginnings with some natural springs, fresh water that's coming up from underground. And there's also along this bank a lot of seeps. And through the whole wetlands, there's a lot of seepy areas where water is just seeping up to the top. So we have a wetland as well as a detention pond. So a wetland um, is defined by three things. One, there's water during some part of the year. Ours always has the water because it is coming up from underground. Um, two, it has hydric soils, which means the soils down here at the bottom of the wetland are different than they would be upland. Um, they are, they hold moisture. They're like a sponge. So hydric soils and water. And then the other thing that defines a wetland is the vegetation that you see out here. So all of this vegetation from the the short shrubby trees to the cattails that are right down here where you see the little um, fuzzy tops to the rushes and the reeds and the different grasses that are out here they all are adapted to live in a wet environment so wetlands have three things they have water they have hydric soils and they have hydrophytes which are hydric vegetation or plants that are adapted to live in such a wet and soggy environment. So we're fortunate enough that we have both of these things going on at the same time. We also are fortunate enough to have a teaching platform at the end of a boardwalk that actually gets students out into the middle of the wetland. Right now there are some students down there that are dip netting into the creek area and they've captured salamanders, tadpoles, dragonfly larva, mayfly larva. So we'll go down there and take a look in just a second what they're capturing. So here at CCES at the wetland lab, we are very fortunate. We have combined a wetland and a detention pond and a lab that students can use for investigations. So here, if you take a look over the boardwalk, you can see why we call this a wetland. There is about two or three inches of water all the way through this vegetation and it comes up from underground um, in little springs and seeps all through here. There's also a bunch of life down in here. Um, if you see some things moving in the water, there's tadpoles, there's little insect larvae, 
and you can see some of the vegetation that we have out here. We have reeds and rushes and right over here this tall um, almost looks like a baby tree which it is it's a willow um, and then if you see the little um, ones with looks like um, powder puff on top those are the old seeds of cattails so all of these plants are adjusted to living in this type of soils and water Over here we already have some wildflowers so there's some native um, wildflowers if you see that yellow in the back they're too far away for me to know what they are but they are attracting butterflies it is early spring um, if you come out here in a month from now you'll see this place is has tons and tons of dragonflies and butterflies there'll be a lot of wildflowers in bloom and um, hosting a lot of our pollinators so butterflies and birds and um, dragonflies. There's a little skipper right there. He just flew by. You see him? There he is. So if you come uh, next month, you'll see more butterflies and in the fall. Right. All these critters, um, Sadler, are going to be like clinging on, to man. vegetation uh -uh. on the edge. <laughs> come yeah, on. I'll stay on the boardwalk. You can do it over on that side too. You can do it there as well. And and then if you see a little um, tadpole saddler, you can pick that up. But sometimes one of the best methods is just kind of go scooching along the edge of the. Jay, you got something. And then bring up your net and see. Look, I have a little dude. So I have a little um, tadpole, baby frog. Look at you, you got a tadpole? They're fast. Mm -hmm. She's an animal. Hey, are you okay? Look, you're alive. Are you alive? Yes. Um, let's see. Well, in the dirt, yes. So you would look in the dirt. Yeah, you can scoop up dirt. For little tiny critters, because a lot of these things that we're going to find are tiny. So you just look for any movement. So pull up the net and go through with your hands like this and look for any movement. And then you might see some tiny little movement. Oh, there's a bug. A bug is good. No, you that's not that. an aquatic bug. It's okay. Whatever we find. Sometimes we but find I really just, big I just don't think I can put yeah. that in the water. <laughs> I, you know, I think I might kill it. We also catch um, salamanders and crayfish in here. That little dude right here, do you see him? How tiny he is? So, yeah. this is going to be a dragonfly larva. So, we'll go put him in the. See him right there? See him? He's a, he's a baby dragonfly. Let's go put him. All right, Sadler, we'll get him out in just a little bit. But, do you see that little guy? This is an insect gall, but you see the, that little guy right there yeah. that's crawling around? Mm -hmm. That is um, the, the um, a dragonfly larva, like the nymph stage of a dragonfly. You know when we did caterpillars? Yeah. It would be like the caterpillar <laughs> stage, but it looks like that. There's probably a couple more anything? things yeah. in here. I don't oh, come on. There's a spider. Ooh, get the spider. I got it. Put the green bug in there. I don't think it swims. No. I think it's a praying mantis. Look at that. <laughs> Can you see it? Well. Okay, so let me show you how small some of the I things never let my that you gotta look. Show it to your mother. Oh, very cute. I don't yeah. know what that is, so I'll have to look. But what let me I do show with them? you. Go ahead and put him in there. In the water? Um. Over, he'll be okay. Um, 
right there. Oh, and I saw him because he was moving. So you got to look for movement. The tadpoles and the crawfish are going to be the biggest things that we find. But do you see this little guy moving? That's how tiny some of the things. So you got to really look carefully. Okay, you out there. Yeah, I never let my kids walk out here, so I don't walk out here. Nothing, girl. There's a mayfly. Nothing. A mayfly and a dragonfly. Larva. I see a dragonfly. Get it. There's a mayfly. I could just caught a mayfly larva too. <laughs> that is not a stick. Did you find a stick? No. Is it moving? Yeah, come here. It's like That's a. Awesome. It's a stick. It's like a brown stick. Oh, I can't wait. It's a moving see. stick. It's not. Definitely not a stick. <gasps> How exciting! Definitely not a stick. Oh. What is it? I don't have to Google it. Is it is a. No, I know what it is. It's a larva. Here, let's put him in the water. Catch it. I think I got it. I did. Oh, here. I want to catch a frog now. Let me see. Sienna, what have you caught? Nothing. Dude. Sam. Oh, it is. <laughs> so Remember let's make sure we don't touch him. Put him in there. Oh, y'all are y'all are there. there. Oh, see what else you got in there. I think that was it. Hmm. Tapo! Woohoo! Um, three things! Uh, <laughs> um, zero things! Zero things! Marilyn and I are in a race. No, I have four. I know, but we're still in a oh, race. Oh, okay. He's twirling around right there. Can you see him in the net? I don't see him. Here. I feel like I should put him in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to get all the um, dirt in there. I'm trying. I lost him. Go along the edge of yeah. Oh, Gina, I'm gonna have to get some of this dirt in here. I'll pick what? it out. I got some of that dirt in there, oh, but okay. I'll get it out. That's okay. I just do you scratch that. Um, here are some little pictures. This page. Okay, did you catch that? I don't know. I think so. I think he was our first one in. Does he have legs yet? Yes. So we can see him. <laughs> All right. So there's some little tiny guys in here, and I don't want to Speak up. hurt them. So I'll be pretty careful with them. Little dude. Look. He doesn't belong in the water, does he? He's an adult. A little tiny adult. I know. It is. It's a tiny little. Tiny little adult. So we'll let him go back in the grass. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's on your finger. There you go, little dude. All right, so take a look at this guy. See if you could tell me if you can find him in there. And if you want, you might want this to look at his tail especially. Okay. See if you can see what he is. Looks like that. No, it doesn't have wings. Well, that's the adult form. So what you're going to look for <laughs> is... Look in here. See if you can see any of these in there. Okay. Oh. There's a water strider. They're so funny. You see this guy hopping around on the top? That's what I thought. He's a strider. Everybody calls him water spiders, but he's a strider. This is a spider. Oh, please don't put that in there. Isn't he cool? Please don't put that in there. And so he hunts, too. <laughs> he hunts in the water. All right, so there's some teeny tiny things in here I want to show you. So see if you can find the picture of that little guy. You can flip the pages. Yeah. Oh, here is a very special one. This is probably one of my favorite things out here. I love amphibians. Um, it's just like that, but it doesn't have wings. What are they calling those? Mayflies? Yeah. Yeah, I believe if you look with your magnifying glass and look at the tail, see if it has three little appendages on the tail. 
Dre, you sliding. <laughs> I'm wet. Oh. My back is wet. Y'all are blocking us from the sun. We were trying to. That's very nice. I'm trying to be very cool with this little guy. All right, look at this little special guy. Is that a salamander? Do you see him? Yes, it is a salamander. And if you look, use your magnifying glass to look and see how he's breathing right now. Do you see those gills at the top of his head? Right yeah. behind his eyes? Kind of like yeah, they're flary, exactly. That's how he's breathing underwater. That's a baby salamander, a little tiny guy. So he's an amphibian, and this little guy right here is an amphibian too. We know what he's going to grow up to be, right? He is very active. I'm pretty yeah. sure that was the one I found. <laughs> no, I found that one. They are going to grow up to be a frog. Um, so amphibians, right? So they lay their eggs in the water just like the tet. Just She's like that. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. How do you feel about the tadpole as opposed to a real frog saddler? It's just a baby. Mm, Alright, so let's take a look at this. See if you can find this guy. He looks kind of like the mayfly larva, but he's going to grow up to be spider. Mm. Oh, look in their book. Let's see. Look. Look right there. Let's see. Let's see if you can find dragonflies in here. I can't really see. Dragonflies and dancerflies. So dancerflies look like that. And dragonflies, see how they don't have anything on the back. So see that little guy? He's just all the rounded behind. He's going to grow up to be one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and that one is going to grow up to be one of these. <laughs> Alright, there's a couple more tiny little things that I saw in here. Maybe I catch something else. We've got yeah, the salamander. Tadpoles. We'll try oh, speak. there's another salamander. No, that's the same one. Um, I don't like holding the amphibians. I think it does more damage than good. They have... Um, skin that absorbs anything that's on your hand so like if we held a frog or a toad or a salamander or one of these little babies um, that if we had anything on our hands like hand sanitizer right now right or bug spray or sunscreen and we held something um, an amphibian it would seep into their skin and it would be very bad for them so we try not to hold any of the amphibians but the the insect larvae are okay if you want to hold one of those do you want to hold one of those mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right what else was in here am i missing something I I that's what i caught i wonder where the spider has gone uh, what do you see him no. <laughs> <Vominous. laughs> i don't see him either I think he set himself free. That's scary. We're gonna set these guys free. Um, look, look, look! Now you can see his tail. What about the little? Yeah. Do you see that things? three um, pronged tail right there? Yeah. That's fanned out. Let's see if we can find that one. I think. Look right here. Yeah, that's what kind of looks like. Mayfly. Um, a little mayfly. <laughs> And here's what it's going to look like. Here's what it's going to look like when it is an adult. A little mayfly right there. And that's its little baby right there. Does so anyone see it go anywhere? With the spider? Yeah. He's not. You don't want to come home with us. Right? Um, no. Crawfish is the only thing I haven't found that I usually find in here. So we'll try again. I'll try to do a crawfish another day. All right, so one of the things that we have to remember when we take a look at these critters, we have to put them back where they belong. So you want to take them and put them back down there? Okay. Yeah, just take it. Just take it through the hole. Just dump them out kind of over so the edge of that. All, all these critters. Not like from way up here. Go down, down to the grass. And dragonflies and um, salamanders and we are putting them back. <laughs> 
Come here, Earl. Will you hand me that click beetle? So I can yes. show people. Did we film the click beetle before? No. Okay. Good job, Dad. Oh, one thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this little guy was out there. Um, he flew down. He can fly. It is an eyed click beetle. Oh, there he goes. Come here, dude. Uh, it's an eyed click beetle. He's not He's not faster than Miss Verrett, though. Um, so I want to show you a couple of really cool adaptations about him. He has these eye spots um, that are designed, we think, to intimidate any predators. It makes him look bigger than he is. So those are false eye spots. His eyes are actually way up underneath his antenna right there. Um, and he has this He's called it, that's why he's called Eyed, and he's called a click beetle because he does something really cool to scare away predators. So if a predator tries to grab him, I'll show you in just a minute if he'll let go. If a predator tries to grab him, he will flip, did you see him flip back over? Yeah. And awesome. he makes a little sound, a little click sound. He can, there he goes. He can um, do something with his body that makes it snap back and he can do um, a little, little acrobatics like, you gymnasts out there. So, he's so cool. I love him. They're one of my favorites. I'd click beetle. They're harmless. People are afraid of things like this, but you shouldn't be. He's harmless. And sometimes he plays possum. He'll tuck his legs and his head up if a predator tries to get him, and he acts like he's dead. There he goes. You see him playing yep. possum? There he goes. He's rolled all his legs up. Let's see if he'll flip back over. When the coast is clear, or if he thinks the coast is clear, he'll stretch his back out and then it'll flip over. Lay him down in his little <laughs> habitat see if he'll flip over. So he's coming. He's getting ready to. He's got his antenna out. Cool. Very cool insect. Alright. So some of the animals that we have down here in the wetlands or use this wetlands, you don't always see them, um, but you see evidence that they were here. For instance, I know there's a mammal that loves to come down here. Um, and hunt at night. It's nocturnal. It's a mammal, so it's covered with fur. And one of its favorite foods is found right here in the wetlands. And how do I know that he's been here? If you look right there on that small sandbar, you'll see some footprints. Those are footprints of the raccoon. So they come down here at night and they're looking for one of their favorite foods. One of their favorite foods is crawfish, or crayfish, or crawdads. And I tried to catch one of those today. We did, but we weren't successful. But I know that they're here because I'll show you something. Sometimes we don't know. We don't actually see the animals that are here, but we see evidence of them. So right here, on the edge of the boardwalk is the remains of a crawfish or a crayfish. So something has eaten it, probably a raccoon or could have been a hawk, most likely um, a raccoon, could have been an owl as well, but sat up here, ate them, and these are the little claws and the legs that are left from their little snack. So sometimes we have to look for signs of animals.